Hello learners, hope that you are keeping well. Uh, today we're going to look at superimposed and antecedent streams. Uh, I don't know why it's to be such a problem for many learners. They don't seem to identify the difference between the two and explain them. So I'll try today to emphasize the differences between these two so I can get my face out of this place and we can get going, okay? So let's look at, firstly, the superimposed stream, all right? I can get my slides going. Yes, that's our superimposed drainage, all right? Now let's look at what happens here. If you look at the first little sketch here, you notice there's a ridge that has formed there. Okay, and when we go to the second photograph, or diagram rather, you will notice that layers of rock have formed over the ridge. Eventually, what actually happens is a river then forms on that landscape or layers of rock. Now, what actually happens here is that the river is younger than the surrounding landscape. Okay, that's one point you need to note. So there was a ridge, layers of rock formed, and then the river formed. The river then starts to erode the landscape, and as it continues, you notice it cuts right through, and eventually, it's going to reach this ridge. And it's going to erode through, creating a sort of gap here, a port. It cuts right through the ridge. Okay. But one thing we would notice is that if you look at the pattern of flow, it maintains that pattern of flow. All right, it doesn't change. That's what makes it superimposed. The stream still maintains that pattern of flow. It doesn't change. It just seems like the river was just placed on the landscape and it doesn't follow the general direction of flow, you know, from uh, altitude and, and uh, from high to gentle. It just maintains its course. And that is your little explanation for your superimposed drainage. All right, we can see it here also in another diagram. There the river, the, the ridges here, lands, layers are formed, the river then forms, and eventually it starts eroding through, it reaches the ridge, and it cuts through the ridge, but it still maintains its shape making it a superimposed stream. All right, now let's just look at a little summary on that. We say here yeah, the landscape develops before the river. So the river is younger. And as we said, the stream network displays, the stream network displays a pattern that bears no relation to the relief of the landscape. It maintains its course as it flowed first, it eroded, but it maintains the same pattern and course. Eventually, as I said, it will cut through and then flow in gorges, cutting across those higher ridges. Okay. And this is your superimposed drainage. It's like the river, as I said, has been placed on top of the landscape. And as time goes by, it will erode the older underlying rocks, which are your ridges, etc. And it maintains its original course and is not affected by the older structures. Okay? and harder rocks. It maintains its course. A good example is the Var River, 
which is a superimposed drainage. All right, let's go on. Let's now look at an antecedent stream. Okay, now if we look at the antecedent stream, and maybe I must get my highlighter here or laser, you'll notice that the river existed. So the river is older. Okay, and then there's a change in the landscape. It could be faulting. Can you see? A piece of rock has been uplifted. All right. And if the river has more erosive abilities compared to the upliftment, rate of upliftment, the river will erode, but it will erode in such a way that it will still maintain its course. All right. You can notice it's still maintaining its course. It doesn't change. But the fact is that the river is older and then the landscape has adjusted and the river erodes it to maintain its course. Okay, I'll show you another diagram. Can you see it here? There's the course of the river. Folding has happened, but the river cuts through and maintains it. Same thing with the faulting here. Can you see it? the river? flows it flows in the same pattern all right it's original pattern even if there's upliftment okay so let's look at a little summary on this and let me get my pen down here or highlight it rather the river developed its course before the highland areas formed that means the river is older and after the river formed then only we'll have things like warping folding faulting an important point to note that if the rate of down cutting that means downward erosion all right of the river is greater than the rate of upliftment okay then the river was able to maintain its pattern so the rate of down cutting or downward erosion must be greater than the rate of upliftment it's cutting all right a gorge through the land that has been uplifted so just in summary the superimpose is a younger stream landscapes have developed and then the river forms but it cuts through the landscapes and through the ridges and maintains its pattern the river is younger in antecedent the river was there right it's older and what has actually happened is that the river then if there's upliftment the river then erodes the uplifted surfaces if the rate of down cutting is more than upliftment and it maintains its course. I hope that makes it a little clearer for you learners. All the best.